Henry, a Polish swimmer's true story of friendship from Auschwitz to America, is the story of a Catholic Pole who was imprisoned for nearly three years in German concentration camps during World War II. In many ways, this story is a bridge to history and a view of the Holocaust through Polish eyes, a perspective not written about near enough. I met Henry Zaguda in 2002 on a random referral when I wrote for the newspaper. From our first meeting, I found him to be sharp, have an excellent memory. He had a sense of humor and we clicked. He also, in that first meeting, told me a couple nuggets of stories from Auschwitz I certainly had never heard. So my instinct said, here's a man with a story. I went home after that first meeting and a thought nagged at me. I had found out he had no children and no siblings, so here's this 85-year-old gentleman with no one to leave his story to. For whatever reason, I asked myself, was there a reason that I met this man? I called him up a few days later and said, Henry, let's collaborate on a book. And he said, yes. Now this was an exceptionally bold move on my part. I barely knew this gentleman. I'm not Polish, nor had I ever interviewed a concentration camp survivor. For whatever reason, I seem to be in the right place at the right time, and this story has been entrusted me to carry forward. There are many things about this book that is different from other accounts of the time. It's told in an interview format because that most closely replicates how Henry and I talked. It reflects his voice and also our growing friendship. Early on, I realized this story is more than one man's story. It, it represents a lot of Poles and other groups of prisoners. I also soon found out I would need to do a ton of research. That came in the form of translating documents from German and Polish, which was a big task. And Henry had letters. He had written home from the camp. I was stunned that prisoners actually wrote letters. And I asked him about that and he said, oh, sure. So I had no idea there was even a postal system between camps. And that's a tip of the iceberg of some of the stories I learned from Henry. He was well connected to the underground and I have absolutely verified some of the stories in this book have not been written elsewhere. When I met Henry in 2002, I was not walking around with a smartphone. I didn't have a camera or a video camera in my purse. And I was so intent on listening to Henry and getting his voice, I really don't have a lot of pictures. That is one thing I regret and would do differently today. A friend did come over and shoot some photos, so I have a few, but mostly what I have is Henry's voice. And he passed away a year after we met, so what I have is what I have. I know if Henry was here today, he would be darn proud, as I am, that I can hold this book in my hands 15 years later and say, it is done. I am no longer the only person that knows this story and carries it forward. I now have got the story out into the world. I know Henry smiling down and saying, very nice, very nice. And if he was here, there is no doubt that we would pour two glasses of good Polish vodka. We'd raise them in a toast and say, Nostrovia, cheers. Job well done and a life well lived. I hope you enjoy reading Henry, a Polish swimmer's true story of friendship from Auschwitz to America.